Hey everybody, Mike McCarthy here with Youth for Christ International out of the International Service Center in Denver, Colorado. Wanted to drop you a quick line. I was able to grab a couple of minutes with our international director, Dave Brereton, when he was in town recently on a visit, and find out what last year looked like at the end of the year and what the first three months have looked like through his eyes. And we did a, a video with uh, some questions and some answers. It's unscripted, uh, it's kind of off the cuff, uh, but in my opinion, it beats just reading an email. So without further ado, here's our video of my question and answer with Dave. Good morning, everyone. Mike here with the International Service Center, and I'm with Dave, our International Director. Good morning, Dave, welcome. Good morning. All right, folks, we're, uh, we're happy to have Dave here today, and we're gonna get a little bit of a recap of what 2018 looked like uh, throughout the entire organization. Uh, hopefully hear a little bit more about what we can expect in 2019. So, so with that, Dave, how did, how did 2018 wrap up in your world? Well, it uh, was just an awesome year. I got to travel around the world and uh, see basically folks ministering in all different settings, in all different cultures, everywhere from the US to Guatemala, to Belarus, uh, Singapore, uh, Thailand, lots of countries all around the world. And it was very encouraging, very eye-opening, and very stretching for me. I used to think that a five-hour trip in an airplane across Canada was long. Now, that's nothing at all. Yeah, there's a, there are some long flights out there uh, to, to reach our nations um, on the other continents out there. And uh, you were a busy guy. How many, do you know how many trips you took last year to visit the field? I don't know, but I know I was pretty much on the road every week, uh, other than a few weeks in the summer. Um, but it was great, and I feel very encouraged in terms of what I saw. Also very pleased to see the results in the various areas. We're organized into four areas with area directors and then regional directors under that. And we saw lots of new work starting, lots of growth, and just lots to encourage. Yeah, so you've used the word encouragement a couple of times. Any specific examples of what you just left with and you're like, wow, they have a heart for Jesus, or wow, I'm encouraged by that. Um, and how do, we, how do we do more of that? Um, or, or is it just great for this place? Well, any thoughts on that? Sure, when I went to the uh, conference in Belarus, just seeing uh, folks that speak an entirely different language to me, folks that were behind the Iron Curtain, only a matter of uh, 30 years ago or 20 years ago. And uh, here they are able to share their faith, able to uh, work together in uh, sharing Jesus in the various countries around there. Uh, it was just awesome to be there and be a part of that. Also a new experience to me to absolutely understand nothing without a translator. <laughs> yeah, that, that presents its own sort of challenges, I imagine. Um, as we get started into 2019, um, I know you've had some big meetings with some of the leadership throughout the world. Um, anything you care to share uh, with those that are watching here about what we can expect and what's underway? Sure. After listening extensively in 2018, I think that we have the rough shape of a new strategic plan, and uh, I'll be dialoguing on that with some of the national directors and figuring out how to just validate it and verify it before we actually make it official. But the four areas that seem to be very much the, the focus and what is needed within the organization uh, centers around one, uh, leadership, making sure we have strong leadership in place in each of our nations and in each of the uh, areas. And then uh, funding, we wanna make sure that in fact we have the right funding to be able to do what God has called us to do. And I believe the partners have been raised up and God is raising them up. We just need to communicate that well. The third area would be in terms of social media and reaching young people all over the world that we don't reach in a traditional way, but be able to reach them through online evangelism. And fourth, things that bring unity, uh, not the least of which is prayer. We need to become more and more a movement that is saturated by prayer. And then we need to be looking at other ways where we can unify the movement by better communications, by just working more closely together and sharing the uh, things that God has uh, entrusted to us. Yeah, that's a, 
that's a lot of stuff, um, but big items that I think can definitely help propel the movement forward. Um, Dave, in your travels, in your meetings, uh, we've heard lots of stories. Um, we've given a lot of thanks. Is there anything in particular that you're thankful for that you've heard um, out in the field of what they're doing? I mean, we have a lot of people working in a lot of areas, sharing with hundreds, if not thousands of kids, young people um, throughout their various demographics. What are you thankful for? I think what I'm thankful for is whenever I see folks within YFC sharing with others. Um, I was in Singapore and see our team in Singapore reaching out to the other surrounding nations and figuring out how they can bless them, how they can encourage them, how they can share what's working in Singapore with other nations around. I love that kind of stuff. And it just shows me the one body in action. And I just find that uh, just something to really be thankful for. That's, that's great. Sharing best practices, things that are working, asking for support and praying for one another, those yep. sort of things. Yep. You mentioned uh, prayer as one of the core four things uh, that we are focusing on as an organization. What is your prayer uh, today for our organization? Hmm. That we would be a little more like Jesus. <laughs> yeah, right, every day. It seems to me that some of us, as we go along in the journey of life, we get a little bit more like Jesus, and others of us, not so much. So I just, my prayer is that we would become more and more gracious, more and more loving, and as, uh, to be able to say as Jesus could, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, it would be really nice if as we go along on this journey together, we look a little bit more like Jesus and a little bit more like the heart of God every day. Great. Uh, Dave, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for coming by. Uh, thanks for sharing with the field what's going on throughout uh, um, the international organization. Uh, we look forward to hearing uh, your next update uh, in a few months. Great. Thanks so much. Pleasure to be with you. Have a great day. Thanks, everybody.